Hey, what's up, Soulja Cam? Uh, it's your boy Ralph Jr. Just pray, I'm just, uh, pray y'all having a blessed day so far, man. But anyway, man, I just want to come to y'all, just let y'all know that uh, stay encouraged, man. I, I'm going through a little trial, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but uh, the devil's defeated in Jesus' name. And I just want to encourage y'all, whatever y'all going through, don't hang your head low. Just stay encouraged, keep a smile on your face. And, um, I'm just saying, it's, it's funny how in life that when you try to do what's right for God, and well, you just try to live, you know what I'm saying, try to live right for God, and it seems like uh, the enemy tries to plant this, try to do this, try to attack you in this area, try to check you in that. It's just, it's just confirmation that something great is about to happen when, when he uses people, or he uses, or sometimes, you know what I'm saying, we all go through a battlefield in the mind, you know what I'm saying, and, you uh, know, anyway, don't, don't fret. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Let's uh, continue to rejoice and, and know that um, we have to go through the fire sometime to reach um, God's blessing, great blessing that He has for our life. Man, I just want to encourage you that. Anyway, what I come to do, I just want to encourage you with a word. I want to encourage myself with a word. And I encourage you all uh, too, because I need it. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I've been slacking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it gets hard a little bit, but uh, I'm not I'm not worried. I don't I'm not worried about anything. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry yourself, cause worry is sin. And I know a lot of times in life that the burdens of life can weigh you down a little bit, but I'm, I refuse to allow the, the the burdens of life to weigh me down, weigh us down. So we have the victory. Just know that we we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. So it's not about. Uh, how good works we live because I'm not perfect anyway. I say this all the time. I get on here just about y'all hear me say I fall short and I'm not perfect, but I'm doing it because you all encourage me to me to help me to encourage y'all. And I just thank y'all for that. And it helps me to God help me to continue to grow in the word. And I just thank God for that because we all need encouragement. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all encourage me every day. So I just want to thank you all. And I just want to. Uh, but anyway, I'll become second. Peter, chapter one. And I might skip around a couple verses, so excuse me. But I was, um, I'm going to read chapter one. And uh, I can start first verse. Simon Peter, a bond servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by righteousness of our, of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Verse two. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in, in the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus. As his divine power has given us to all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. By which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises. That through these you may be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust verse 5 it's talking about being fruitful and, uh, it's talking about us being fruitful growth, growth in the faith verse 5 but also for this very reason given all diligence add to your faith virtue to virtue knowledge to knowledge self control to self control perseverance to perseverance godliness to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love for if these things are yours and abound you will neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ wow I need that verse 9 for he who lacks these things is short sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins therefore brethren verse 10 therefore brethren be even more diligent to make your call and election sure. Uh, if, for if you do these things, you will never stumble. For so an entrance, you will be supplied to you abundantly and to the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wow. See what uh, verse twelve say. Verse twelve. For this reason, I will not. I will not uh, ne uh, negligent to your to remind you always of these things, though you know as I mean, though you know and are established in the present truth. Yes, 
verse 13 yes i think it is right as long as i am in this tent to stir you up by reminding you knowing that shortly i must put off my tent just as lord jesus christ showed me verse 15 more moreover i will be careful to ensure you that you always have a reminder of these things after my decease that's what um peter was saying but verse 16 says, for we do not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitness of his majesty. Verse 17, for he received, for he received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory. This my beloved son in him I am well pleased, that's what God was saying. Verse 18, And we heard this voice which came from heaven, and when we were with him on the holy mountain. Verse 19, And so we have the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in, in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises. Knowing, verse 20, Knowing this verse, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private inter, uh, interpretation. For a prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So anyway, I just want to read to you all Second um, Peter chapter one, um, verse one through uh, 21 and um, just whatever so if you get if you feel like you're getting punished for doing uh, do you feel like you're getting punished in life to live for Christ or you feel like you suffering to to just be you for Christ I mean don't worry yourself don't hump, don't hung your head low because we all suffering something you know what I'm saying so just just have a smile on your face just smile even when you're feeling down or whatever you might be going through in life, if uh, somebody's talking about you, whatever, don't worry about it. Because the best is yet to come for your life. You're more than a conqueror. You're a winner. You, you, we have all power through Jesus Christ, man. Uh, God, in Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's one of my favorite scriptures. So just know that we have power within us. We have the Holy Spirit within us. We, and let's continue to walk in love, body Christ. I just want to encourage you that. Love you and God bless you. See you.